All right, so as you guys can see here, I am using a Khalil Mamoon hookah. If you can read that, there's a Khalil Mamoon. It's an Egyptian hookah. Um, I know a lot of beginners will probably be using a Chinese hookah, but I don't have a Chinese hookah, and I do have another small hookah. But you know what? It's literally going to be basically the same concept. I will explain to you if you don't have this kind of hookah, like what the difference is going to be. Um, so when you get your hookah, you're going to get your basic setup. You're going to get your base. You're going to get your stem. You're going to get your bowl. Now, as you can see, this isn't the bowl that came with my hookah. This is a small Tangiers funnel bowl, um, and yeah, um, it's basically going to be the same. I'll explain to you that later. Um, you're going to get your grommet for your bowl. You're going to get your grommet for your hose port on your stem. Going right there. And yeah, you get your tray. And then, of course, I'm missing something here. Of course, you'll get your pair of tongs. Of course. Um, so that's the basic situation you need for a hookah. Also, what, what better to have with a hookah than something else I'm forgetting here? A hookah hose. This is the uh, Najum hose from 5starhookah.com. You can get this is the only place you can buy it is 5starhookah.com. It's a really nice hose. Very nice, very nice gauge there. And uh, yeah, very nice drop. So that's the setup basically. So basically, how you're going to set it up is you have you're going to put water in the base. Now, you want to make sure that. However much you fill it up, you're gonna to want to. Fill, I already have water in here right now because you know I already know where to set mine up. Pretty much, you're gonna you're gonna here. Let's move this up here. So you're literally you're just gonna stick your stem in your base, and pretty much what you're you're what you're gonna want is you're gonna want your water to be, depending on how big the base is. For mine, mine's a you know a normal bigger base. Um, you're gonna for this type of base, I have this about maybe in inch to an inch and a half from the bottom of the stem so the stem is like inch to an inch and a half under the water so the bottom of the stem is probably right about there and this is the water line right here um, another helpful tip for a lot of you guys um, what helps me a lot um, pretty much with every hookah I get I make sure where the water line is that works best for me and then like for me if you guys can see I'll try to zoom in here if you guys can tell there's like a little line right there and that's where my water that's where I always fill it up to because that's the perfect water line for me and my hookah and I always get the best smoke sessions out of that um, so yeah basically just you, you, sometimes you have to experiment you know stick with about the inch and then around there is where it's gonna be fine so um, yeah so and it helps to find a spot so you can know okay, do I want to fill it up an half an inch under here, an inch down under the line? You know, if there's another line that you can find that's going to be perfect, then great. Um, so as you can see, you know, you get your stem in there. Um, so you'll get your bowl. Get your bowl. You got the grommet for your bowl. As you can see, mine are a little dirty because they're very used. Because, um, you know, I smoke all the time. Um, so as you can see, you got the top of the hookah here. Oh, before the bowl, of course, you know, you're going to want to use that little tray there. You're going to want to set the tray on top of that and then the bowl on top of that. Now, I know some hookahs come with the tray, like, already stuck onto it, or they have, like, a tray that, like, twists off. There's many different types of hookahs. This is probably more of the more typical kind of Egyptian hookah, a lot easy and it's easy to deal with pretty much um, but yeah so then you're also gonna get your of course your hose grommet let's zoom in here you're gonna stick that in the port here's one for hookah demon they got the port I got the hose you're gonna stick the hose right in there <laughs> um, so yeah, you get the hose nice in there you want to make sure it's nice and airtight air seal um, and also, if you get a one hose hookah, basically every one hose hookah is going to come with your little um, valve here, the purge valve. And basically, what's in there is basically a little BB. As you can see, mine's a little, little black because it's been used a lot. Uh, but yeah, that basically goes on here. You twist that sucker on there, and you're able to blow through your hose and get all the, the stale smoke and or harsh smoke out and it basically pushes out through there but when you smoke the bead comes down you know and blocks it off so you can actually smoke and not have air come in 
Um, yeah, so that's just about it for everything. Um, like I was saying before, guys, I have a small Tangier's Funnel Bowl. It's a little bit different. Um, here, I can find a bowl right here. I know a lot of people, if you get like a Chinese hookah bowl or, or Chinese hookah or something, you're going to get something a little bit more like this. I think this is like a Chinese or a Maya hookah. I'm not sure. This is one of my friends. He left it here, but it's a good example. Um, also, another example here that I can show you is kind of like the funnel bowl. It's called a vortex bowl. Um, you got the little spire coming out there, and then you got four holes in the middle. So it's basically the same thing, except for, as you can tell with the funnel bowl, it's got the hole flat up in the middle, which is pretty much the only bowl you can use for Tangiers. It's all that really works. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I will probably maybe have more videos out on how to actually start up your hookah, get the hookah session going, and actually get your smoke. This is just the video for, um, you know what, let's, let's just get me in the picture. Then you guys can see me talk. Um, I don't know if you can see me or not. Hopefully. Um, but yeah, so basically this is just going to be the video on how to set up your hookah. This is the simple start and setup. Now I will, like I said, probably make another video on pretty much how to fill up your bowl. I'll probably do one, I'll do a main one with just a regular bowl. You know, just like the one I just showed you guys. Just this little tiny one. Um, I'll basically kind of show a tutorial for that. And then I'll do a separate video on how I pack with my funnel bowl. Different kind of brands. I'm basically going to make a bunch of how-to videos. Because I thought I'd get my opinion out there on how you put things together. Now, obviously, I'm no expert. <laughs> um, I've smoked for about three years now. And I've helped out a lot of people around my town at, on how to put it together and how to set it up, what's the best way with the kind of coals. And I've learned a lot more in the past, like, six months. So I'm not an expert, but I do. I have gained a lot of knowledge on how to set up a hookah and what to use and et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, I will get another video out soon. And thanks for watching, guys. And check out my other videos. And please subscribe. And thanks, guys.